will be meeting Saudi fashion designer Yahya Al-Bishri. We'll be asking him what it's like trying to sell haute couture in one of the most conservative countries in the Middle East. Saudi Arabia is a staunchly conservative country and clothing is no exception. It's not a place you associate with high-end fashion and many Saudis still wear traditional Islamic dress. But one man has been trying to change all that and in doing so has created quite a stir, not only in Saudi but across the world. This is Yahya Al-Bishri, one of the most famous fashion designers in Saudi Arabia. He designs for both men and women and today is the darling of haute couture and regularly creates outfits for Saudi's royal family. With boutiques in Riyadh, Jeddah and naturally fashion's capital Paris, Yahya is now somewhat of a celebrity in the kingdom. But his rise to fame and fortune was never easy. It was, it was not easy in the beginning. It was really hard for them first to accept me as a designer, second to accept the idea that I meet women. It's impossible to design for women behind the curtain. And that was the difficult time for me. I faced a lot of problems because they tried to close my shop so many times. And I was sure from that because it's normal to start as a fashion designer in a strict country. They are wearing black abaya everywhere. I born here and I know the Saudi culture well, so I prepare myself for that. Otherwise, I will not continue even one day. Over the years, Yahya has worked hard to establish a loyal following of clients who are willing to pay top-notch prices for high-end gear. Sawad has been one of Yahya's best clients and praises his ability to deal with Saudi women, who, she admits, are notoriously fussy customers. We are very picky, normally. <laughs> so when something we, uh, we pick up our mind for, let's say, red or, or black or yellow, he has his own way to um, to tell us that that's, that's when it goes with you and this one, no, please just do this, trust me. We did that first time, the second time, and after that we just call him Yahya, we need a dress. And he'll pick up the colors, he'll pick up the accessories, he'll pick up everything. We don't even check after him. That's Yahya. Yahya has also branched out into men's fashion, where he's made a name for himself redesigning and modernizing the traditional white Saudi thawb that men of all ages still wear throughout the kingdom. Initially, though, he faced staunch opposition from conservative voices in the country. I find it very, very hard and difficult with the people, and they did not accept it in the beginning. They thought that I'm destroying the culture. So I start telling the people about it, and I try to uh, convince them to accept the idea. So in the beginning, I start by a few colors. I didn't move that much, and with mostly embroidery. And then I put the material the different material, which is not polyester, I go out from polyester. And then when I find the opportunity people they like and they start to accept the idea, so I start putting patchwork, I mix even some top with jeans material, and now they accept many color, and they accept it and they like it, and it's, uh, it's really big change. Yahya's menswear is made here in this underground workshop, and much of the work is done by hand. Today, Yahya, the company, turns over $15 million a year, and he has plans for expansion too. Next year, new boutiques will open in Doha and Dubai, and his menswear will go on sale in department stores in the West as well, which means he'll be busier than ever. Yahya's precious time at his home in suburban Jeddah is usually spent relaxing with a cigar in fashion magazines. When he embarked on his career in fashion, his father was furious and didn't talk to him for many years. I know that my family they will not accept that I'm going to study fashion. They thought I will fail and then I will be back. And they always believe that I will come back under their umbrella. But I did not because I love what I'm doing. And I said, I will continue, if not for me, for the history. It's not for the history, for the another generation. I don't want to be designer for the elite. I really would like to be for anyone because I'm, I came from village and I love all people and I enjoy when I see my clothes in anyone. Today, Yahya's family is proud of what he's achieved and with plans to expand around the globe, we've not seen the last of his talents yet.